Okay. So it's a bit messy at the moment here. This is the part of videos that uh, are uh, part of projects you never see in a lot of videos. You know, they break it down into easily digestible sound bites or little bites of video and make you think you can take on the world and, uh, you know, build perpetual energy or something. But there's really a lot that goes into it and a lot of time and a lot of tedious, detail, boring work, which I won't cover here because I don't want to bore you, but anyway. So, in figuring out how we want this system to be set up, you know, I have to figure it out to where it's serviceable and, uh, you know, if anything were to break or go bad, you know, can we get to it easy to fix it? So, you know, a little extra thought and time now will save a lot of aggravation later. So, and, uh, you know, we're wanting to concentrate everything in this corner here. So we'll have, you know, our HVAC system and then the water heater right close, you know, because we're using the desuperheater out of the, uh, out of the uh, HVAC, you know, to help heat the water. So that cuts down on, you know, the length of piping and everything. We keep everything together, but we also have to make it serviceable. So, you know, if something goes wrong, we can easily fix it. So, you know, just, you know, remember too, you're going to have to have some sort of drain pan or catch pan under the water heater and all that good stuff. So it uh, takes a little, little bit of extra time to figure all this stuff out, you know. And then, of course, you know, getting the getting the uh, piping for the uh, for the you know the heat exchanger for the uh, geothermal system. You know, we got to sit and carefully figure all that out and get it, you know, to where it's uh, workable and serviceable. But anyway, so we're getting there, and then once I get it all mocked up and where it's going to be then uh, we can take it all back apart and uh, prime the uh, prime the wood and we'll have a uh, I'll put that uh, uh, elastomeric rubber paint on there like I did in the workshop so it'll be a nice uh, uh, you know, durable finish so and if any water should get on it then it won't hurt it so uh, stay tuned.